Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Urban CGTV. I am your host, The Art Poet. And today we'll be continuing this little series I started off uh, about a week ago. Um, today's episode will be applying the idle animation and the run animation using logic bricks um, for the Blender game engine. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First, we'll work on the idle animation. We'll be doing that first by um, selecting Shift A to bring up the um, mesh menu and we'll choose a cube. This cube is going to be very important not only for the idle animation but also for the run animation. And this cube. Alrighty. I'm going to try it out big first. Sometimes I have uh, problems using it big. You know, that's when we're applying other things. As far as uh, hit and like damage and sensors and stuff, but um, we're gonna probably make it real big first. Not gonna take up too much of the body. Probably have the arms and stuff still hanging out of the box. But this box is um, used specifically for the game engine. This would be like the player controller. As you can see, I uh, instead of having it textured, I chose to have it wired so that you can see right through it. And it doesn't take over, you know, bl doesn't block anything. All right. It's pretty good. We're going to go into the physics tab. Uh, we're going to change this probably into a, what's static now, but it's going to probably be a dynamic. I use sensors sometimes, but I guess it just depends on the model and how it was made. We're going to go with, uh, I got to name it first, player control. All right. Once I name it, we'll have to uh, parent the rig and the the uh, monster control together, which having the the controller the parent of the rig. It's properly rigged. Take off some of this stuff. It's kind of distracting. Alright, now we're going to add on some of our logic bricks. The first logic brick we have was always. Now it's time to apply the actuator. And the first actuator we'll apply will be an action actuator. And hold on, we have to click on to the rig as well because we'll be fusing the rig and the um, player controls logic bricks. Now, as you see, I went under the armatures uh, logic and I added action. So basically, I'll be connecting the controller with the armature action. All right. With that, I'll choose the idols um, frame track. I'm thinking it's frame 0 through 60, I believe. Right now, we're going to change where it says play. We're going to change that to a loop stop so that the animation has a continual looping process as it as you play through the game. It'll be 1 through 60. I'm probably going to have to go back for my run animation but I'll do that when we get there as you can see I'm shooting the priority up real high I don't really have to because we're not only we only got two animations but usually I'm um, you shoot the first animation high which is the idle animation I usually shoot it up maybe 10 and so depending on how many animations I have you see here something ain't working right Okay, and I do believe I know what is wrong. The multi rays. I have to apply the multi rays. Hold on, guys. Let's see here. All right, multi rays is applied. I think one more thing we might have to do is 
the Warhammer. I have to check the physics of the Warhammer. Now it's a static. We'll probably have to make that a no collision. It might work as a static, but let's do no collision for right now. And I press P and it plays and it works. And the idle animation looks pretty good. Probably should have added some bend in the knees. But I can always go back and modify it later on. Right, this is in the game, isn't folks, and it's running real smooth. Yeah. Nice detailed monster as well. I don't really have any real detailed environments to put them on at this time. I do have like a rock kind of environment. Because now we're about to apply the, the run animations. Let me save real quick. And uh, with the run animation, of course, we're going to need a, uh, a ground to run on. We can run on the ground I already have set, but I want to look more uh, more cool. All right, getting from all angles. Looks pretty dope. I think I'm gonna add a third person camera to him. This is just a test project anyway. He's gonna be our player character for today. Alright, with that, let's start our run animation. We're gonna start with a a keyboard sensor. I'll probably use the up um, arrow key on the keyboard to control his uh is running and guys and you remember to name everything you got all these different uh, actuators and sensors and using logic bricks can get real uh, real tedious and messy if you do not name your objects so please name them take it from me I'm gonna add the up key now we're going to shoot over to the actuator part of the controller and the actuator we'll be using is motion and we'll select we'll keep it at simple motion that should be the first one that pops up cool and we'll go to the Y um, segment the Y location of the of the simple motion and we'll go with a negative 0 0.40 we're gonna try that out it might be too fast it might not be Right, once we have that, we'll go over to the armature and we'll click on action, the action actuator. And again, we'll use uh, the idle animation track because the idle animation and the run animation are on the same line, which I do recommend that. I used to make different, uh, different keyframe tracks for different animations, but I kind of run them all on the same line now. I have to remember the framework for the run. I might have to go back and look. And name this walk, walk slash run, whatever you want to call it. Alright guys, Probably, I don't want to say it, maybe 70, 90. I just go check real quick. Nope. Alright. I click on the armature. And it is 70, 90. Cool. So I was right. Always trust your first instinct. Type in the start. Start it out at seventy, and then ninety. 
All right. Probably put the priority. We could leave it at zero, but I mean, I'll turn it up to one. As long as the idol's priority is higher than the run, we're good. All righty. That works. Probably running kind of fast. We're probably going to slow it down a little bit. Go back up to simple and probably bring it down to a negative 0 0.30. Yeah, he's running real fast. <laughs> Damn, that looks robotic a little bit. Oops, he fell down. Physics are working, that's good. with the landscape a little bit this is the only available landscape I had it ain't too realistic when I put uh, enough lighting on it it'll kind of look pretty stale this is all I got for right now as far as in this package so I'll probably do the weekend I'll probably make some new environments Make it big enough for him. Scale it just a little bit. It's about like the right size. So we can fix this lighting. It's brighter than what I want it to be, but oh no. Let me see. That's bright, man. Right. I mean, pretty much, guys, I already have it. Um, there's your idle and run animation. All I'm doing now is just kind of setting up a scene so we can uh, perform this little test run. Because I'm about to add a third-person camera to it. So you guys enjoy watching the rest of the video. And uh, as usual, that test run will, will happen at the end. So appreciate for watching today, guys. And... Uh, Thanks for all the support, and uh, let's go, Creation Nation, and peace.